In today's technical corner, we're going to be talking about sliding head tooling, and I'm joined by Horn. Thanks for joining us today. Can we start with these quick change systems, please? Hi, Joe. Yeah, yeah. So this is um, the range of modular uh, turning tools from WNF. WNF is a partner of, of Paul Horn, and um, we've teamed up because uh, WNF can have this modular system that we think will complement our range of, of inserts for sliding head machines. So just briefly, what are the advantages of modular tooling? Well, there's a number of advantages. Um, first and foremost, um, the, the speed with which you can change over the tools. That reduces the amount of, of, of setup time, um, and it also allows you to um, keep your productivity rates as high as possible. So if, if we were to have a, a standard tool, how long would that take to change an insert against the quick, uh, the quick change? Yeah, well, in this kind of system here, really what's happening is you have the shank tool remains in the, in the platen, and all you're doing is turning a screw to release the cassette and then removing the cassette. You can then take the cassette out and do any work that you want on it. In some cases, there are tools where you can't actually reach the, uh, the screw for the insert in order to change it over. So being able to remove the cassette in this way is actually a benefit as well. But in terms of time, um, if you, on a conventional machine, if you were to remove the um, shank, take it out, change the insert, put it back in, tighten all the screws, and then reset and offset, I suppose you'd be talking in the region of maybe three to five minutes. With, with this system, it's just, as I said, it's just a matter of unscrewing one screw, removing the cassette, and then returning it there. Yeah, because I guess you could, have, you could have double cassettes, couldn't you? So if, if, if time was of the essence, take what you're talking five seconds. Exactly, you could have a sister tool mm -hmm. set up already ready to go, preset with your offset, and put it straight in, change your offset, and off you go mm -hmm. straight away. But things I've heard about in the past is you, you're essentially mating two, uh, two pieces of metal there, so there is a rigidity issue. But here I see there's a three-point location, so maybe maybe that's unfounded, that argument. Yeah, well, there's a lot of thought gone into the design of, the, of this interface. Um, you can see that it's quite a substantial interface. It's made up of, of three elements. The, um, the most obvious element here is, is the taper. So that's, that, that taper provides... Um, uh, it centralizes the tool in the tool holder, provides a positional accuracy. And then from a stability point of view on side loads, we have contact here on the face and contact here on this cylinder. And then for, tur for turning tools, in addition, we also have a, a groove here at the back, which mates with a, with a bar that's inside that, inside that uh, bore. Mm. And that also then um, provides rotational stability and accuracy. Sure. Three coolant ready? They're all through coolant, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and if we move on, that's obviously static tool. If we move on to driven tooling, again for a sliding head machine, but you know, what, what does this offer you in your portfolio? Yeah, so for driven tooling, the WNF range um, incorporates these tools and a lot more besides. Um, and WNF have particularly targeted companies like Star, Citizen, mm. uh, Tsugami, Hanwha, Tornos, um, and the range of tools, of driven tools that they have are range from these simple tools like this, which are, which are axial tools, to much more complex tools with you know, radial approach to, to, the, to the workpiece. Uh, multiple spindles, spindle speeders, thread whirling units, polygon milling tools. So there's a vast range of tools and they all have, they all incorporate this type of interface. Mm -hmm. Again, that's a quick change system, it's highly repeatable. It's highly repeatable, yeah. It's, I mean, it has all the benefits that we've already talked about. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's stable. Um, and that same system with the cone and the two cylinders and the face um, all come into play to provide the maximum stability and repeatability. Uh, what are we talking here? Obviously, driven tools, mean, um, tapping, milling, what else? Yeah, so, I mean, you can see there's a range of, of tool adapters here. Um, you can see there's, there's, there's well-done tool holders here for, for, uh, for milling and drilling which we, we don't particularly like as much as this, the shrink fit and the hydraulic tool holders. When you have hydraulic and uh, shrink fit tool holders, your run out is kept to an absolute minimum. And the accuracy of our, of our interface ensures that that, that run out is maintained. Um, so yeah, th so th sorry, to, to answer your question, the types of tools that we we're talking about were sort of milling, drilling. There's also some um, adapters where we can fit horn, um, groove milling tools onto mm -hmm. it as well. Fascinating. And finally, a lot of our audience won't be aware of this system yet. 
So maybe you can fill us in. Yeah, this, um, so this system here, this is a thread whirling tool, and this particular unit incorporates a few different advantages that, that Horn have, have, have brought about in the, in the recent years. The first, first and foremost, this, this unit here has through coolant. So there's coolant delivered right above the, each of the insert edges. So that has clear be benefits for providing a better surface finish and flushing chips away um, to prevent uh, clogging of the area. Uh, secondly, because it's a WNF unit, it also has the WNF interface. So that same design is there. With um, It has a taper. Uh, it's, a, it's attached by three screws, which is quick change. Sure. Um, so, so in the same way that we talked about before, <coughs> if you have um, a sister tool already set up, um, it's just a matter of un undoing three screws, replace your sister tool, and press cycle start and you're, and, you're, and you're going again. Sure, and to be clear, that's a milling operation. It's a milling operation, yeah. Okay, and then the final thing then is uh, turbo whirling. So turbo whirling is a concept that Horn brought out a few years ago. And it basically, the, the idea of it is, is that um, on this tool here, you can see there are nine inserts. Um, six of those inserts have the finished profile of the thread on them. And three have a simple square profile. And they're set back a, a little bit from the finished profile. The idea is that the three roughing inserts will peel the bar down to the diameter of the outside diameter of the thread leaving just a finishing operation for the six remaining inserts. So a bit like a, maybe like a wiper, you know, where, where, where you've got, yeah, the roughing and finishing essentially. Yeah, I mean, yeah. certainly the roughing inserts behave like a wiper. They have, mm -hmm. a, just have a square profile on them. Um, but by being able to rough and finish in one operation, this has clear benefits for producing long screws on a sliding head machine. Mm -hmm. So obviously targeted for the medical industry, fair to say? Yeah, that'd be fair to say, yeah. In most of the examples that I know of, this would be applied in the medical industry for bone screws. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Well, it's been an education. Thanks for coming in today. So there we have it, slide and head tooling from Horn. For more information, please get in touch.